The Wabash Valley continues to battle extremely hot weather, but the heat isn't just dangerous when you're outdoors. When you get in your car after it's been sitting in the sun, you can also feel the effects of the dangerous heat. But just how hot does it get? Storm Team 10's Pamela Gardner shows us why it's important to never leave a child or a pet inside a car on a hot day for even a minute. The outside temperature is in the 90s, heat indices near the hundreds, but inside your car, it gets even hotter. For this experiment, I'm first going to show you just how cool I'm getting the car. Taking a reading, and right now, it is in mid-80s. I just turned the air conditioner off. Now we're going to see how long it takes for this car to get to a dangerous temperature level. It's been about five minutes, and already we're getting temperature readings in the 90s. It's been 15 minutes, I'm sweating profusely, and now the temperature inside this car is in the hundreds. Plus, we're gonna take a reading off the dashboard, which has been in full sunlight. That's already reading at 140 degrees. It's been about 30 minutes, the car has been completely enclosed. I could not stay inside, so I have come back to show you where we're at right now. We're getting a temperature reading of the upper 120s. The dashboard, which has been in full sunlight, now reading at about 154 degrees. The car has acted like a greenhouse. It's trapping the heat, and there's nowhere for it to go. Back to you. Some good advice. Thanks, Pamela. Yeah, it's, it's cooled down somewhat, but boy, Kevin was saying a few minutes ago, it's still 84. 84, which is more like a daytime heat. Kevin? Yeah, yeah it is. Uh